What's up guys, it's Track. We're here at New York Toy Fair 2020 and this is easily the thing that I was most excited about. Per all of the leaks that we've heard, the most exciting, engaging thing that's happening is actually here at the Dart Zone booth. So we came here straight away and you guys know that I'm a huge fan of the Dart Zone Pro Mark I. I actually have the, uh, the first serial number from that Twitch launch way back when. And so they're back at it like a bad habit with a brand new colorway. And I can't tell you how excited I am for this colorway. So as much as I, uh, I have to admit to you guys in good faith that this is going to be a Target exclusive, and that's the reason that it's coming at us in red and gray, I just think that red and gray is a really good colorway, and I'm very excited to see it here. So uh, it looks like the packaging has gone from the kind of secret agent case down into a much smaller smaller, easier to ship uh, sort of container, which explains why this guy costs significantly less than the original Founders Edition Mark 1. So the 1.1 I think is going to come in at 149.99 or 150 bones. And then the thing that I want to make sure that you guys know as viewers of my channel is that it's dropping tomorrow on Target.com. And that's super duper exciting because that realistically means that it'll probably drop tonight on Target.com as the clock rolls over. Now, I don't know how many they're going to be, but but I think it's really exciting that something like this is launching for the first time at New York Toy Fair, but you guys will actually be able to buy it before I will. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, I just want to talk about a couple of things that I've noticed on here. Uh, it's going to come with, I think, 15 of each size dart and then some exclusive Target colorways on the magazines, including my favorite, the half mags. As I'm peeking in here, it looks like we're getting the, uh, the performance barrel, uh, which is to say it's got the metal barrel and the breech system that pushes those darts into there and it feels exactly like the uh, the 1.0 which means that we should be getting that same amazing FPS performance in excess of 170 FPS now and that's kind of cool there's a cute little pop of color here on the back of this guy but uh, this is what I'm really stoked about if you'll notice in here uh, the number one complaint from the 1.0 was that there was kind of like a shelf sort of a catch in the the stock system here and that led to some uh, some sliding it would occasionally collapse under any sort of like serious weight now it's kind of the moment of truth priming into it and that's good and we got a lot of flex and I think that by switching to a very a very much like kind of milsim like a2 style uh, circle d10 in here we're actually engaging these every step of the way and it's it's taking some serious weight to it it's letting me like really really lean into it and that that feels great uh, so I think that this one's dropping like I said tonight on target.com but if not certainly uh, in the morning I have no idea how many there are gonna be uh, I know that the collector's edition was one of a thousand uh, this one could be one of 10,000 it could be one of a hundred I have zero uh, information on that but I know that I'm gonna be sitting on my phone after editing all these videos for you trying to trying to cop one it's like a Yeezy drop, but uh, for toys instead. I don't know. I'm just crazy excited that half length darts have come to full retail. I think that Target's a really good way to do that. And uh, I do, I guess, have to do my due diligence and mention that the, uh, the full size Target exclusive darts, those look pretty handsome as well. And of course, uh, that breach system is still modular and still going to let you fire both kinds of ammo. So uh, that's the Dark Zone Pro Mark 1.1. It's certainly a uh, uh, better than what we thought it would be when we saw the little leak on the target handhelds and uh, I'm pretty excited for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more uh, news from New York Toy Fair 2020, make sure that you leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're excited for. Uh, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're a big fan of Bovalolo, <laughs> happen to be walking Just by while we started uh, messing with this thing. And uh, uh, make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Much love. Blast on, Drac out.